Hi, I'm Karen Chrisman, and I'm a certified arborist with Arbor Services Incorporated. Today I'm here to talk to you about taking care of your landscape trees during a drought. So getting started, the most number one step is to find out what species your tree is and what you're dealing with so you can better plan its water needs. So number one, do you have a water-loving magnolia or do you have a native oak that needs little summer water? These are all important questions to ask. Now, if you don't know what species your trees are, you're not alone in our community. We have a diverse population of trees in Santa Barbara. Um, the number one way to find out could be the internet. There's a great book called The Trees of Santa Barbara. Number two, ask your nursery. Or number three, call an arborist. So now you've figured out what kind of tree you have and its watering needs. So what we have to look at is, again, if it's a low water tree, maybe mulch is all you need. If it's a high water demand tree, maybe it's mulch in a low volume irrigation system. One of the most important things to learn before you properly irrigate your trees during a drought is to understand how a tree's root system works and its water needs. So a tree's root system always extends to the drip line. And drip line in a borer culture is basically the edge of the canopy and sometimes beyond, depending on how far the roots move. So when you're irrigating, we want to put the water where the roots are. So with your drip irrigation, we want to irrigate that entire area, not just at the base of the tree. And that it also applies to when applying mulch. We want to apply mulch to the root zone, which again, extends to the drip line and beyond. Now in drought conditions, water is precious and it's a resource that we don't want to waste. By properly water and properly mulching, we're number one, conserving water, and number two, we're keeping the water where it needs to be in the tree's, tree's root system. So when you're working with a young tree um, in a drought tolerant program, what we want to make sure is we remember its root system probably extends to about here and maybe a little beyond. This is where we want to get our irrigation water. Out here, it's just going to be wasted. Um, number two is, a mulch application should be even and probably no more than four inches thick of organic matter. What you don't want to do is allow the mulch to build up at the base of the tree in the area we call the root crown. What we're trying to do is prevent it from decaying. So you want a little bit of space to give that area some room. Otherwise, this is a successfully mulched tree. Mulch is an important landscape addition. Not only does it inhibit weed growth, but it helps retain soil moisture. As you can see, this is a nice diverse size um, wood chip, and the different particles will break down and add nutrients to the tree in the long run. But most importantly, during a drought, it's helping to keep moisture in the ground. So the roots, rather than our atmosphere, can use that water for the tree growth. Now with new tree planting during a drought, we certainly don't want to skimp on water so that we lose our investment of the new tree. But strategic watering is critical. We don't want to overwater. Um, but signs to look for, number one, that you're not watering enough is tree dieback. In this new tree, we know we're doing all right because we see nice new growth and I don't see any branches dying back. So we know they've done a great job because we're seeing new growth. So good job with the mulch and the watering. If you don't have uh, drip irrigation, here's a tip in your own household that you can do. Um, when starting showers or a bath, collect that water in a bucket and use that to go ahead and pour under your tree um, and that'll help you get through the drought. All right, well now we've learned about what to do with our young and new trees. Let's move on and look at some mature species. So here we have a more mature tree and we're looking at its root system that has been mulched all the way to the drip line. This tree has been mulched with about four inches of organic matter, which is helping retain moisture in this entire root system. Um, the nice thing again with using an organic matter is it breaks down over time, therefore adding nutrients, but also helping to reduce soil compaction and keep the valuable moisture in the ground where the roots can get to it. So we've got our mulch in place, but now the big question comes, how do we know if our tree is getting enough water? Well, there's two ways to look at it. We can go below ground and take a look and certainly above ground. Above ground, when a tree's not getting enough moisture, we get signs and symptoms. Um, one of the number one symptoms is branch dieback or leaf dieback. So it's always good in your landscape trees to take a look and see what's going on above ground. So understanding if your tree is getting enough water can also be looked at below ground. What's your soil moisture content? The best way to find that out is to dig below that mulch and really feel the soil about about four to five inches below ground, if not a little bit further, and feel it. If it's moist and spongy, yes, you definitely are irrigating properly. If it's powdery dry, then it's probably time to irrigate. So when irrigating to be drought wise, remember, irrigate early in the morning or in the evening when evaporation rates are their lowest. So let's talk more about mulch. One of the keys to proper mulch application is to remember over time mulch breaks down. So if you evaluate your landscape and see bare soil areas, it's time to add more. So where are you gonna get mulch? Well, there's a lot of low cost options. First off, call an arborist. 
Tree care companies generate mulch on a daily basis and you can either get free loads or some delivered at a low, low cost. Or if you're looking for a more decorative product, ask your local nursery. Another thing to think about is this isn't our first drought in Santa Barbara and it certainly won't be our last. So when investing in new trees for your property, be water wise and choose trees that are low water and adaptable to our climate.